Jackie Johnson got international attention as the top prosecutor for the Ahmad Arbery case, but she had been the district attorney in southeast Georgia since 2010, when the governor of Georgia appointed her. During her 10 years in office, she was in charge of several high-profile cases, including some that are controversial. This cell phone video showing the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery caused outrage, coming out two months after Glynn County Police and then District Attorney Jackie Johnson decided to not charge the three men who chased him down. That ended up putting other cases she worked under the microscope. This 2010 video shows two Glynn County Police officers shooting and killing Caroline Small after she led them on a chase. Cops had her car pinned and she was unarmed when they fired. Oh my God. Johnson presented the officer involved shootings to a grand jury, but defense attorney Bill Adkins told the I team she made several legal missteps. Johnson provided the officer's defense attorneys with evidence before she presented it to a grand jury. Great. Johnson went before the grand jury without presenting an indictment. Great. And she allowed defense attorneys to participate in the grand jury hearing oh, by asking questions. No charges were filed against the officers. Mm, she violated that plainly, unequivocally. And there was no consequence other than the fact that two men went free. One of the officers, Corey Sasser, would later become a fugitive on domestic abuse charges. Great. And in 2018, he killed his estranged wife oh. and another man before turning the gun on himself. Another lawyer who questioned Johnson's legal practices was the district's former chief public defender, Kevin Goff, who huh. says there were violations long before the Arbery case. What about the thousands of other people who have been run through the criminal justice system uh, and the tens of thousands across the state. What's being done to make sure that these kinds of problems don't happen, don't happen again? So are you saying that you feel, in your opinion, that some defendants did not get a fair trial when Jackie Johnson was district attorney? I have no doubt that defendants did not get a fair trial. I, I have no doubt that people that were innocent uh, under the law uh, went to jail. Great. He's the guy uh, who, by the way, uh, represented uh, uh, William Roddy Bryan and stood up and said, what's with all these black pastors and Colonel Sanders wearing a white mask and, you know, brought up fried chicken in the middle of a trial of the white guys who murdered Ahmed Arbery. But anyway, uh, even he says that their district attorney was a dirty district attorney and that she would obstruct justice, that she would convict innocent people and that she would refuse to prosecute guilty people as long as they were friends of hers or law enforcement. And, and, and it's really it's a sad story. That woman right there, Caroline Small, she was 35 years old when the police uh, shot through her car like that. Here's what happened there. She was struggling. She had mental health uh, and drug and alcohol addiction problems. And then she went through a divorce and it had just been finalized days before this incident that you just saw. She was in a very bad state of mind. A Glynn County police officer approached her uh, and she just was sitting in her running car. That's what caused them to go and see what was going on with her. She was sitting in her running car. Uh, and somebody had called the cops saying maybe she was doing drugs. They thought she was doing drugs in the car. So the officer approaches her car, which is sitting, running on the side of the road, and they ask her to step out of the vehicle. And she drives off. She drives off for four miles at low speed, like really slow, because she's obviously intoxicated on something. I don't know what to say. Uh, and a short time later, her car ends up, and this seems to be the, the, the manner in which the Glynn County police officer uh, trapped their prey, right? Her car ends up pinned like Ahmed Arbery, trapped like a rat. Her car ends up pinned between a utility pole and a ditch on the side of the road and the police car. All her tires were flat. So it wasn't a high-speed chase, okay? All her tires were flat. She's sitting, she was unarmed, and they trapped her like a rat. A state trooper could be heard on the dashboard camera video saying, let me get out and get her out. And the other officer then says, quote, if she moves the car, I'm going to shoot her. 
she tries to inch her car forward. Remember, all her tires are flat, right? And they shoot into her car. That's what you saw in that video. They shoot right into the, 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 the windshield of her car. And they hit her multiple times. They hit her two times in the head, two times in the face. This is a 35-year-old mother of two. All because she was having a mental health issue, depressed over her divorce, probably drunk, and probably using drugs. Death penalty offense, right? So these two police officers' names, now we know, are Sergeant Robert Sasser and Officer Michael Simpson. And then you hear them on the police video bragging about how good their aim was because it was four shots to the head, two to the head, two to the face. And they're literally bragging about how their aim was like impeccable. A week later, she dies of her injuries. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation was handed this case. He has said that that shooting, that police shooting was, quote, the worst one I've ever investigated. I didn't think it was justified. And yet, no officers are disciplined or charged. Okay, that was in 2010. That was in 2010. All these years later, WSB-TV News and the Atlanta Journal-Constitution newspaper teamed up and they conducted an investigation after this Arbery mess, right? After this same prosecutor refused to charge the, um, the, the McMichaels and why? Because Daddy McMichael was the chief investigator at her office, at her office. So everybody starts looking at her now and the newspaper and the local TV station conduct this investigation and they find records that show that in the case of this, um, this, this young woman, this 35 year old Carolyn Small, that they tampered with the crime scene and they created misleading evidence. They actually manufactured evidence that was presented to the grand jury like doctored evidence and a, a tampered with crime scene, okay? And so in the end, what happens is these two officers get off. They don't get indicted. The local DA that prosecuted in the grand jury was Jackie Johnson, right? Okay, so these two officers walk and it turns out that this Sasser dude is like really a violent serial spousal abuser in the end he ends up killing his wife killing his wife's new boyfriend and then killing himself all because this district attorney literally covered up the fact that he killed this 35 year old woman and then bragged about how good his aim was i mean it's 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 systemic